My first experience of Burma was one of corruption. This customs official asked for five US dollars to waive the compulsory purchase of 300 in foreign exchange currency. As I was to see, it was nothing compared to the deceit that the rulers of Burma are playing out on its people. Um, there is, um, I may be meeting a friend, a friend of mine. We travelled into Burma on a tourist visa, hoping to avoid any special attention to ourselves and, more importantly, those we intended to meet. Do you like cold beer? Yes. We also carried a concealed camera. Our objective was to get on the inside of the students' underground movement, or as they're called, All Burma Student Democratic Front, the ABSDF. Students have always played a pivotal role in shaping Burma's politics. It was from a student movement that the country gained its independence in 1948. These two men, one a student, involved in a recent wave of protests, led us through the back streets of Rangoon to find a safe place to talk. Just being with foreigners made them vulnerable. We were right to assume that we, and they, were always being followed. We had arrived in Burma less than a month after this protest, last December. It was the latest in 10 years of disturbances. As is so often in Burma, small protests can often tip over into mass rioting in a cycle of intense suppression followed by violent release. The latest incident started in October in this cafe, which emptied when we started filming. A trivial dispute over ID cards blew up. Well, the student protests really grew out of uh, what was probably quite a minor incident uh, in the first place in October, which was a fight in a tea shop, uh, which uh, the police intervened in that, uh, and very aggressively apparently, and the students were beaten, and of course then the students moved on from that point and insisted on something which this government obviously was never prepared to give, that it was a public uh, apology and uh, action against the, the, uh, the police officers who had uh, mistreated the students. And I think the fact that those basic fundamental demands have not been met uh, has uh, contributed to, uh, to the swelling of the protest uh, to quite substantial proportions in, uh, in December. The students were further outraged when leaflets appeared at this university, urging them to stay away from politics and continue their studies peacefully. <laughs> In the following days, students took to the streets, demanding human rights, democracy and the release of imprisoned students. What had begun as a student protest swelled to include members of the country's pro-democracy movement. 
hundreds of protesters were arrested. In the days that followed, government tanks rolled through the centre of town and took up key positions. Burma was under security alert. For Burmese, the new round of protests were a chilling reminder of the 88 uprising, which convulsed the country. Sparked by students, nearly the entire population took to the streets, demanding an end to military rule. For ordinary people, the moment had arrived. They hoped to reclaim their country, until military leader Nay Win instructed protesters to return home. If they didn't, he threatened to order the military to open fire. In less than six weeks, 3,000 unarmed people were gunned down. Internationally, the country was condemned. Hopes for democracy looked crushed as the military set up the State Law and Order Restoration Council, or SLORC, to rule Burma. SLORC was swift to clamp down. Thousands of people were incarcerated, many here in insane jail. Amnesty International estimates that there are at least 800 political prisoners behind these gates alone. The jail is still locked to all human rights organisations, but former prisoners tell of torture during interrogation. Many die. One of my contacts was a student leader who had spent seven years in jail for his role in the 88 protests. A meeting was dangerous to arrange. After a series of cautious phone calls and exchange notes, I interviewed him in a safe house in the middle of Rangoon. He is lucky to be alive. The student's testimony is repeated thousands of times. Arrests and interrogations happen throughout the country. A student fought military, military fought student. A government, I think, which uh, relies on uh, absolute control uh, to uh, maintain its uh, authority and doesn't tolerate dissent is obviously frightened of anything which looks like criticism or dissent and therefore uh, the maximum of absolute control, of complete control of any, uh, and getting on top of anything which is seen as a potential uh, uh, source of uh, difficulty or criticism uh, or opposition uh, is very, very quickly uh, uh, suppressed. The repression of 88 was as ruthless as it was effective. Slork is firmly in control and has opened Burma for business. The generals want visitors to see a picturesque, peaceful and golden land.